Max 52 I'm Hutch, I play guitar. I'm Jason, I play bass. I'm Nick, I play the drums. Uh, and I'm Josh, I play guitar, and I also play a little synth, and some electronic gadgets. Uh, we're an undercover organism from Milwaukee. Dark night, black hole, flash, light, a loose control, take back to your place, groove shop, laser face. Me and, me and Josh went to the same high school, uh, he was a year behind me, so I knew him when I first came to Milwaukee for my sophomore year, which was his freshman year, we just partied a lot together and did some jamming, played some guitars, yeah. I guess that's kind of how it started. Yeah. I, uh, me and Josh met up, uh, he needed a place to live, and uh, me and my buddy had a spot, and pretty much just uh, linked up, and you know we uh, we started uh, jamming together, and then that's where I, I met um, Mr. Hutchinson over here, playing guitar player, and uh, yeah, just started jamming out, playing some tunes, and pretty much you know that's how we formed uh, Undercover with you know us three starting. I actually came in later in the game at a regional bassist uh, when I moved back from California. I met these guys, and uh, one night Josh was bartending, and he asked me, I was sitting at the bar, he asked if I knew anyone that played bass. I was like, I play bass. <laughs> I didn't know that, so <laughs> came to bed and practice after that. So, yeah. I would say, you know, undercover organism, what we strive on the most is uh, improving and, you know, energy from other people that we're playing for. So I feel like as a band, uh, a mission statement for us would be to, you know, uh, to draw as many people out of whatever they normally do to come see something that you know, it's literally dependent upon what, how they react to what we're doing. You know, they, whatever they come out to see, whatever, it's, it, you know, it's nothing set in stone, and it's just a, create an experience that would not be had, you know, had that live performance not taken place. So we really strive off the live performance, and just the energy of other people, other than, you know, the music itself, and not saying that we don't uh, take pride in what we do, but it, it's all dependent upon how other people react to it. Uh, you know, that's what really creates the music.
ran outside late at night. Mm -hmm. Just uh, it's something special about that. I'd have to say uh, some of my favorite shows um, uh, in the past, well, as a band also, um, you know, have been playing with some of the uh, uh, better jam bands that are uh, out there right now or, you know, that have been playing for a long time. Particle is one. Family Groove, and for me, uh, why that experience is so great is because um, just being able to, you know, talk to these musicians and just, um, uh, you know, be able to uh, just have a conversation with them and see what they're all about, and uh, there's always a lot that I'm trying to learn, you know, I'm a young drummer and there's a lot that I want to know about, and a lot of them will kind of, you know, any question that I have, they'll answer it and they'll be really cool. and. Um, about it, uh, and yeah, I don't know. I think it's a really cool experience when you get to when you get to see what they're all about instead of uh, you know just seeing them on stage and whatnot. Yeah, I think that uh, you know it's really cool to be able to play at some of these venues that you know we've been to in the past, and you know the first time we were there, probably we were like never would imagine that we'd be playing on the stage, but. You know, we played at Summerfest this year on uh, the Rock Stage, which is a pretty big stage. The biggest stage that we've played on to date, and you know, that's, uh, you know, it's definitely a memorable experience because of how many acts come through and the fact that it's the world's largest music festival. You know, that's cool. And then also just like playing at, you know, we've been playing a couple shows at the Majestic in Madison, which is another, you know, awesome venue that a lot of good acts are coming through and playing it, so it's just, an, I guess, it's kind of just an honor just to, to be able to share, you know, be on the same stage as some of those, some of those awesome acts.
Yeah, I mean, our music style, you know, varies from, you know, we could play, we even have bluegrass tunes that we play, you know, we really like, we, our focus is jam music, but it, it takes anywhere from a bluegrass dance point to a straight produced electronic style. So, you know, our music, it really can fit into multiple different categories, whereas, you know, we open for Family Groove, who is, you know, rock, jam, awesome band and we opened for those guys and had a great time but then we can also take the uh, you know another road and open for Michael Maynard who is a produce a producer you know and we can fit in with that genre too just because we have this we have this style you know we, we like to cater our set to who we're playing with and we can play these you know dancey electronic songs that fit well with these bands so we really have a, a diverse style I feel like that you know depending on the venue or depending on the show like we can really fit in just about just about anywhere you know not saying that we're gonna play specifically one style of music when we're at a certain show but you know we, we have the ability to cover a lot of genres I guess. Okay yeah, we can fit in at daytime slots at music festivals we can play a good nighttime set we can like play at yeah we can play at uh, like blues blues bars like on Milwaukee's East Side where it's just like a shitty small stage or we can play at like a rave and be playing a bunch of raver kids right which like is weekend. what we're doing this weekend yeah or next weekend we're playing at a a, fest, a rave festival there's one jam stage and we have the headlining slots so you know I think that they know that we can fit into that scene and that's why we're headlining I think the, for the jam stage because we cross both genres.
play more festivals. I mean, we did a lot of smaller festivals this summer, just kind of like local Wisconsin things. But I know we want to get to summer camp next year. It's a main goal. Um, eventually, playing at Roth or Electric Forest or whatever they've got over there. Um, I'd like to do like some kind of small tour, like we can get out to Colorado and go around. It's basically playing music. Um, hopefully, paying rent, playing music that'd be that'd be awesome, man. And we've been branching out from Wisconsin into the Midwest over this past year, so the next year hopefully branch out to some of the coasts, mm -hmm. some areas where our music will be appreciated also. I think that a tour of some sort, no matter how big or how small, that is definitely one of the next, the next steps in what we're about to do. Mm -hmm.